Today's video is all about programming MIDI sequences for worship so that you can make your keyboard sound like this. Hi guys, I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, where it's our goal to give you all the resources that you need to play worship keys well. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a MIDI sequence in the Sunday Keys app using the song, The Lion and the Lamb, as an example. A MIDI sequence is a series of notes that are triggered in a specific pattern when you play a certain input note. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Sunday Keys app to create this MIDI sequence, so let's dive in. So I've got the church grand set up here, and I'm gonna be programming this sequence in the key of B. So we're gonna go ahead and change the play in and here in to the key of B. That way, if we want to change our key later, the sequencer will also follow to that key. So let's open up our MIDI effects. We're gonna go ahead and replace this stock effect with the sequencer. Perfect. Now our first step inside the sequencer is you wanna select the input box. And because we're playing in the key of B, I'm gonna select B as our first note. And I typically like to keep my trigger notes down in the lower part of my keyboard because that's where my left hand plays and I know that I'll be playing that note in the chord. So I'm gonna select B1. Then the next step is to just play in your sequence. So one of the cool features of the sequencer is that you can determine how many steps you want to have in your sequence. So for this one, we're only going to have eight steps. So I'll decrease that down to eight. And then I'm also gonna change the subdivision to 16th notes. And then I'm also gonna bring the overall velocity down just a bit for this part. So now when I play my trigger note, you're gonna hear the sequence. So now we've got our first trigger note done. I know that I want this sequence to play up an octave as well. So I'm just going to select the same input note and play in the sequence up an octave. So in the intro of the song, Lion and the Lamb, there's two chords that we play and that's the B chord and the E chord, which are the one and the four. So I'm also going to create a sequence for the four chord. So I'll create another sequence, select my input note as E, and then play in the sequence for this note. Then I'm going to do the same thing and play it up an octave as well. Then once we've got all of our sequences programmed in, you just wanna select confirm, and then let's hear what it sounds like. So now that we've got the sequence programmed in, we're going to add a couple of audio effects to dial in the sound and make it sound more like the original. So the first effect that we wanna use is the delay. So I'm gonna go into my first effect slot, replace effect, choose delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the eighth note delay. I'm gonna turn the feedback up quite a bit because we want this to continue for a long time. And then I'm gonna bring my filter open all the way so we can hear the delay pretty loudly and I'm gonna bring the mix up as well. And then I'm gonna also turn off ping pong mode. So I've gone ahead and dialed in this delay effect and I'll show you here what it sounds like. So I've got the feedback up pretty high so that the delay will continue for a long time and it's pretty loud in the mix with an eighth note delay. Here's what the sequence sounds like without any delay on it, just for reference one more time. And then with the delay. Yeah, that fills the space nicely uh, and does exactly what we want it to do. So just make sure that you confirm your settings. So I've gone ahead and added a few more sounds to show you what this sequence would sound like in context if I were to play it on a Sunday morning. So I've added another piano and a pad sound and here's what it sounds like.
If programming MIDI sequences has been something that has intimidated you in the past, the Sunday Keys app makes it very simple and easy for you to do so. We created this epic sequence in just a few minutes and you can do so as well. If you wanna learn more about Sunday Keys, click the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.